is Joan Gonzalvo and I work for Tethys Research Institute. I'm here running the Ionian Dolphin project. We've been here uh, since 1991 and we've been going on for 20 years now. involves long hours at sea. Basically we go out, we survey the waters of both study areas, not only looking for dolphins but to record presence or absence of dolphins. Once we encounter a dolphin group, we record their behavior at regular intervals. We use photo identification, meaning that dolphins have natural marks, primarily on their dorsal fins, that by taking photos of enough quality of these dorsal fins, we can identify every single individual. These photos act like a fingerprint. So, by regularly identifying the dolphins that are out there, we can look at dolphin numbers, so population numbers, trends on the long term. This is what is important of this project. By doing regular surveys and by monitoring regularly these populations, we can look at population trends. Now we know that the common dolphins of Calamos declined because we were there recording the presence of dolphins and the dolphin numbers for 20 years. Okay, we have other dolphins and nine. At um, the project has been going on for over 20 years. This would have not been possible without the support of our volunteers. Clearly volunteers that participate in our project come with the expectations of seeing dolphins in the wild and, and I would like to think that they are interested in giving a hand and some valuable effort to the project. But it's true that participation of our volunteers in this project shouldn't be necessarily about seeing dolphins. There are a number of dolphin watching enterprises out there that will offer you a better chance maybe to just quickly and easily see dolphins. But here the opportunity is about getting a wider picture of the situation. It's about understanding how it feels to be out at sea with them, how it feels to, to observe them in their natural environment, and how important is it to understand their conservation needs. This is not a project that the volunteers are coming for dolphin watching. Uh, you can see that they are participating actively in our work, in the data collection. Two people cannot manage to do everything. So the part of the volunteers is very important. They are here to help us to find the dolphins, uh, to keep track of the dolphins, because it's not easy, we're well, just two people, one is taking the picture, the other one has to deal with the behavior data collection, so we need eyes. And the volunteers out in the field, they cover this part. They are our eyes out in the field. And back in the field base, what they do is that they deal mostly with the photos with the management of the photos. So they help us to crop the photos and put them in the right folder and finishing every day with each sighting. So they are diving into the scientific part of the project. It's very nice for me to see people 
coming here from all over the world in my country and help us to deal with uh, the project. And they are going back home. They, some of them, they change complete their lives and spread the news. Pure science, it can do nothing, but people going back and spreading news to their countries, this is something. Berührt hat mich die Art und Weise, wie die Menschen hier arbeiten, dass man spürt jeden Tag, dass 20 Jahre Erfahrung mir zur Verfügung gestellt werden. Ja, besonders beeindruckt hat mich natürlich klar die, die, die Delfine, die man so gesehen hat und auch die Arbeit, die Juan und Janis hier machen, das ist natürlich etwas sehr Starkes. Diese Freude, die sie auch immer noch haben, obwohl sie ja schon länger daran arbeiten, die ist auch so rübergekommen, Man, ja, es, es, es ist einfach reingegangen. Es war sehr schön, in einem Team zu arbeiten, mit den anderen Volunteers zusammen eine Woche wirklich mit dem gleichen Fokus jeden Tag den Tag zu beginnen, die Ausfahrten auf dem Boot nachmittags, die Arbeit mit dem Verarbeiten der Fotos. Diese Teamarbeit hat mich sehr bereichert. We have had, since 1991, uh, over a thousand volunteers, if I recall it right, over a thousand and three hundred volunteers from 40 different countries. This is a major success, not only because we have managed to involve these people in our project, but because I would like to think that when they participate in such a project, they gain some knowledge about these issues, they get adequate information, I would like to think, and they get a very valuable experience. So I think that is crucial that people like normal people that is not necessarily a professional involved in what we do, but they have an interest, so what they get back home, they talk with family, with friends, and somehow the word spreads around about marine conservation. From a more practical point of view, volunteers have provided the necessary support to keep this thing going for 20 years. A large part of our budget relies on these volunteers that pay a quota, do a donation to the project, and this allows them or entitles them to come over here and to participate in our project. Mm -hmm. Roughly 60 to 70 percent of our budget on a yearly basis comes from those volunteers. Without the support of our volunteers, we wouldn't manage to have this thing going for over 20 years. I think that the major thing that has been achieved is that now when someone mentions dolphins in the area, the local community and the fishermen relay that to us. I mean, when we first arrived here, um, many people wouldn't even know that there are dolphins in the Gulf of Ambrakikos. I was going to the schools and projecting a slide of a bottle of dolphin leaping out of the water and the kids would be amazed. And when you tell them this is this was taken here, right in front of your house, they wouldn't believe it. Hmm. Now they know about dolphins, they ask you in the street how it's going, how are the dolphins doing? This is a major change, and I'm very proud of this. It took lots of effort to manage to deliver that message. We're still working on this, of course. We wouldn't be able to do that without support from organizations like Ocean Care.
Oh, that's a turtle. Right here. Did you hear the, the blow? <laughs> 